In ancient China, from society level, the emperor and his family members were on the very top. Other people were required to respect royal family members. Well, in a family, children were required to obey and respect parents. Meanwhile, wife should obey and respect her husband. For most people, this system worked well. But do you find the bug in this system? Please do not tell me you have no idea. I already give you the clue. Yes, the bug is the princess and her husband and in-laws. As the empress' daughter, imperial power required her husband, who was called the Fu Ma, and her in-laws to respect her, which means they were under the princess. But as a woman and a daughter-in-law, ethical code required the princess to obey Fu Ma and his parents. This conflict made Princess Mary's hardly to have a happy ending. Generally, when the emperor tried to emphasize the imperial powers, he preferred to increase the princess status in the family. When the emperor tried to build better relationships with government officials, he liked. To require the princess obey her in-laws like ordinary women did. For example, in Song Dynasty, there was a unit rule called the Sheng Hang, applied to Fu Ma. In this rule, when Fu Ma got married with the princess, his generation automatically increased one level. This means in Song Dynasty, once your son married a princess, before the wedding ceremony, your son called it your daddy or mommy. But after the wedding ceremony, your son should call you 哥哥 which means older brother, or 姐姐 which means older sister. Under this rule. Princess became the same generation as her in-laws, so she was waived from all rules a daughter-in-laws must follow. Sheng Hang started from the Emperor Zhengzhong of Song, and was ended by the Emperor Yingzong of Song. In Qing Dynasty, emperor's powers were highly centralized. Qing princess status was the highest in all ancient Chinese dynasties. In daily life, the princess lived in her palace. Her husband, Le Fu, was not allowed to visit the princess without princess permission. When princess give presents to her husband or in-laws, they must bow to the princess. And said thank you. In this situation, the princess hardly had a great relationship with her husband. Besides the conflict between the imperial power and the normal ethical code, the emperor usually used the princess' marriage as a method to show friendship with important government officers or nobles. Whether the new couples loved each other, rarely was considered by the emperor. So in Tang and Song dynasties, some princes even were abused to death. Except Song and Ming dynasties, many princes should got married with Ke Han or king, who ruled the surrounding area. Those places were far away from the capital. After married, princess almost had no chance 
to come back to the hometown. Besides, the language, food, weather, etc., were so different with Princess's hometown. So it's not hard to imagine her life in those foreign countries. Once those countries had the war with Princess's original country, she might lost her life. Thank you for watching this video.